I don't think I've talked much about the cost of this TDI install and exactly how I went about procuring the motor and the various other parts I needed for the build. I've had quite a few people ask me how much it cost and, and how I did all that. So I figured I'd say, uh, uh, make a quick video here kind of talking about that just a little bit. Um, what people really like is is the cost of this. When I when I tell them how much it costs, they they, they get pretty excited, because uh, I I think I, I got a, a steal on all this stuff. I did I think I did this pretty well. Uh, this cost about thirty five hundred bucks. Uh, that's my total cost uh, for the the entire project. That's motor and transmission, and uh, also also the exhaust system there. Uh, so I think that's that's pretty good. This is an eighty three factory diesel. Okay, so that's gonna be cheaper than you can do a gas Vanagon for. Okay, because the AHU just kind of built bolts right into this, pretty much. I mean, there, you have to do a bunch of stuff, but it's not nearly as much as a gas Vanagon where you have to get diesel-specific carrier bars and things like this for the motor. Um, so all all the stuff I'm telling you, remember, is for is for a a, a factory diesel. So gas is gas is something else. But um, in any case, there are I think there are different ways of going about a swap like this and and different ways to proceed and on one end of the spectrum you have uh you can just throw gobs and gobs of money at the project okay and take it into a shop that specializes in these installs and there are a couple in the northwest and uh, around the country i'm sure and it's great you just give it to them and you know come back a while later a couple months later and they give you back a sweet turnkey and hopefully reliable conversion and that's that's super um that's not cheap. I mean, I think those were go anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars, from what I understand. So not cheap, and uh, and for reason. I mean, there's there's a lot of work involved. So as you know, they're not going to give that away. I mean, that's that's going to cost you. Um, one thing about that I don't like is is that just giving it to somebody else to do is that you lose out on a valuable part of of the well, you lose out on the experience. Let's say that on the knowledge, okay, that you gain from uh, doing your own install. So when you do your own install, do your own build, you learn the ins and outs of the whole entire system, every nut and bolt on that, that machine, okay? And that just cannot be overstated how important that is, I think, to me, knowing, knowing your vehicle. That's just huge, the, the, the experience you gain from doing it yourself. So, uh, yeah, I think you lose out on that if you go the, go the, the big money, have somebody else do it route. Um, on the other end of the spectrum is the do-it-yourself guy, okay? And that's, that's where I am. Okay, and if you go that, that route, you that involves getting a donor car, okay, uh, a donor Jetta, and I believe the Passat had a TDI. I think they have an A they had an AHU. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Um, not totally sure on that one, but um, yeah, that involves getting a donor car, okay. And I, I think the shops. I'm pretty sure the conversion shops. You know, the they they end up doing some uh, using some donor car parts if not entire donor cars i would imagine that's how they do it too i don't think they source everything from the dealership themselves either so um that's that's the, the kind of the budget way to go and the traditional way to go is to get a donor car okay and you can find those on craigslist okay you can get donor jet donor jettas on craigslist anywhere from in a minute i'll tell you how much i got mine for and you're you're, you're gonna love it it's great but you usually see those for i don't know a thousand bucks to uh to 2500 for running TDI Jettas, okay, with AHUs in them in the late 90s. So uh, they're out there and they're they're pretty cheap. Um, but and the question is when you go that route is, uh, I, I think you're faced, the big question is you're faced with the high mileage of those vehicles. Okay, so anything in that vintage and in that price range is gonna be, you know, I, the ones I saw were all 250,000 miles plus. Okay, 250,000, 300,000. And that was okay with me. I was fine with, with that. Um, and let me tell you why. Um, when you do one of these conversions, the hard work, all the hard work is in getting that motor swapped in there and getting the install done and getting the conversion done. Okay, that's the tough part, all right? So if the way I, would, the way I looked at it is if I were gonna swap in, a, let's say a 300,000 mile motor out of, a, out of a Jetta, out of a running TDI Jetta, okay? And I were going to put that 300,000 mile motor in here. Um, if that, after doing all the hard work and putting it in, if that motor were to conk out down the road, and mind you, these motors are real tough. You know, I think if a guy were to put a high mileage motor in one of these, I think he'd be pretty surprised by the life, you know, he would get out of that. I think he'd get a lot of utility out of that. 
Okay, so the, the point is after the hard work is all done, if you were to put one of those motors in there and that conked out however long down the road, uh, it's really easy just to then buy a new long block at that point and swap that motor in there. You know, R&R &R a motor, you know, swap in a motor, that takes a day, you know, if you get after it. So that's no big deal. So I was willing to extract the life, you know, as much life as I could out of, out of a high mileage motor. Um, the thing is I couldn't find one, you know, so... Uh, uh, the, in the window when I was looking, I found no running donor Jettas. Okay, so it was really odd, and I, I got pretty discouraged. But uh, I did find something. Uh, Kirk at Northwest in Seattle had a AHU long block sitting in his shop. Okay, that he ha said he had uh, lots of confidence in. He believed in it, and that was good enough for me because he's a he's a great guy and he has a great reputation. So I bought that motor and I put it in, and of course it runs beautifully. Uh, excellent power, no smoke, starts instantly, runs beautifully. So I, I did really well on that. Okay, so that was my long block. And then if you know what a long block is, that's just a motor sitting by itself with none of the peripherals. And that's where your donor Jetta comes in. Okay, getting your donor Jetta is is as much for getting that the motor itself as for getting all the other stuff that goes along with it. So let me show you. Okay, so that's, you need this is, this is the long block, okay? That's the motor itself right there, okay? But what about all the other stuff, okay? All the peripherals, okay? You got a million brackets and clips and bolts and who knows what, okay? Just so much stuff. You got the alternator bracket, the alternator, the oil cooler, the oil filter housing, the upper timing cover, the few, uh, the injection pump bracket, uh, the this breather tube here, your injector lines, your injectors, glow plugs on and on and on, uh, the turbo, Okay, is eight or nine hundred bucks by itself. Um, so you absolutely have to have a donor car. That's where that comes in. Okay, um, there are horror stories of guys who bought long blocks. They were doing an install and they bought a long block, and then they proceeded to go to the dealership and source all of the peripherals, all the little things um, f individually. Okay, at the dealership or the parts place or something. I just can't even imagine how much that costs. Why would you do that when you can just go get a, 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 a old Jetta and it has everything, almost everything you need. Not everything you need. There's a few things you need, like your AAZ exhaust manifold and things like that. But uh, that's just, that's the way to go is to get it, get your donor Jetta. That is the formula. Okay, so get a donor Jetta. If that has a good motor in it, a good long block in it, uh, then use that. If it doesn't, go and source a, a, a new long block if you have to. But but getting the donor car is is the way to go. Um, the costs that uh, I'll, let me break down the cost for you. Okay, that I paid. I paid 800 bucks for that long block from Northwesty from Kirk, and I paid 300 dollars for my donor Jetta. Killer. Okay, it had a bad motor, is a piece of crap sitting out in a field, and. Um, I scored that thing. Um, I ended up selling the seats to a guy on Craigslist for like 50 bucks. And then I sold the car after I got everything I needed off and I sold it to the recyclers for another 50 bucks. So you can say I spent 200 bucks for that car. Okay. And I took everything I everything off of that. And you've noticed how clean my motor is. I'm kind of a weirdo like that. I took every peripheral nut and bolt and, and piece of hardware off of this, individually took it out and polished the hell out of it and cleaned it and made sure it was in outstanding working order. So maybe, you know, nobody else, people aren't, other people aren't going to go to that length, but I mean, that's what I did. And, and I think in the interest of thoroughness, that's a good idea to do that. Um, but in any case, so I spent, let's say $200 for that motor. Okay. And uh, so what are we at? 800 plus 200, we're at a thousand bucks. And then you have another expense. Mind you, this is a this is an MTDI build. Okay, that's mechanical TDI. Go look at my MTDI pump video and I talk more about that. But uh, that, since I decided to go MTDI instead of go with the electronic uh, system that was that came with a you know, uh, car from the factory, uh, that was an extra expense. Okay, um, you can go, if you if you don't wanna go MTDI and you wanna go ETDI, then everything off that motor, you're just swapping in here. Okay, and you don't have that extra expense. So you can do it pretty cheaply. You know, you don't have the expense of this injection pump, which was uh, $1,200 just by itself. I actually had to sell uh, another vehicle. I had to sell another van to be able to get this pump. Okay, so yeah, not not cheap, but well worth it. Uh, if you going MTDI, just go watch my video. I talk about it. MTDI is is uh, outstanding. It's just great, great way to go. Um, 
Carl Mullendor, the guy I got this pump from at Westy Ventures in Bend, Oregon, last I heard he said he doesn't have any more of these. So you will have to get one from Performance Diesel in Canada, which is the other rock star, uh, super reliable, trusted source for these MTDI pumps. And he, he wants even more. I think he wants fifteen or $1,600 for them, but well worth it. Okay, so what are we at? We're at $1,200 plus $1,000, so $2,200. Okay, then... Um, Let's, let's, I had to get timing belts, a timing belt and a timing kit and various gaskets and O-rings and uh, fluids and who knows what else. And miscellaneous stuff, let's say 500 bucks for that. So that puts us at $2,700 for the motor install. Okay. That's, to me, that's outstanding. All right. That's, that's, that's kick ass. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Then, um, since I said this is a factory diesel and those are geared really, really low from the factory, uh, yeah, I had to gear up the transmission. Okay, and you will too if you have one of these, if you're doing the same thing in a factory diesel van again. Um, so to, to that end, I got a uh, 457 ring and pinion from Weddell and I paid 600 bucks for that. Okay, so those aren't cheap. And I had to get also get a clutch disc and I think that was 75 bucks. So that's another little thing I had to get. So let's say 700 bucks. So 2,700 plus 700, that's at 3,400 bucks. All right, pretty sweet. Uh, oh, and the muffler. Okay, if you've seen my muffler video, all right, I got a sweet stainless exhaust. Go look at my muffler video, I'll talk more about it. That was 250 bucks. Okay, so what is that, 34, uh, 30, 3,600 bucks, 3,650? All right, there you go. So there is your cheap ass MTDI with transmission upgrade uh, formula right there. All right, now mind you, I did all the work myself. Okay, uh, myself and my buddy, I, I'm fortunate enough that I have the mechanical skills to be able to do this. And my buddy is an uh, ex Volkswagen tech and he is even more talented. I mean, he's he makes me look like an imbecile. I mean, he's super, super talented uh, mechanic and he's got a shop and a lift and all that. So, and he helped me basically for pizza and beer money and I help him with his business and stuff. So we kind of uh, bartered a little bit for, for skills. But um, in any case, yeah, just, just an outstanding way to go. Um, I also say that the people in the Volkswagen community helped me a lot. I, I, I picked their brains and a lot of people helped me. Um, Carl Mullendor and Narlodius and various other people. I really owe them a lot because they helped me with some of the details on this. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's the formula right there. If I were to do this again, and I probably will because there have been, you know, people have come out of the woodwork and be like, oh, you know, help me with mine and do mine. So I see myself probably doing this again and I'll do it the exact same way. Um, I will actually I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably get a uh, fresh long block. I'll get a new re, new long block for them, a remanufactured long block, uh, just in the, for the sake of thoroughness, since it's going to be for somebody else. And then uh, a donor Jetta. I'll scour Craigslist and find a donor Jetta for all the peripherals, and I'll do the exact same thing. But in any case, yeah, there you go. There's your there's your cheap ass formula for an MTDI. And uh, uh, don't don't lose hope. If you want to do this, you can. They're not that bad. I mean, if you got the skills and a little bit of space, you can. I bet you can do it. And there's a lot of people to help you, uh, myself included, and other people in the Volkswagen community. I'm sure will will help you out. Uh, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can ask away. As always, you can ask me any questions, and I'll I'll try to help you guys out. But um, there it is, right there.